So in the past few days, we've seen a big shift in the way that the Packers are being talked about. If you if you watch lots of Packers YouTube videos and you know things from ESPN and different things like that pop up on your screen, you would have seen this morning, which today is Monday, two days after the Packers preseason game on Saturday, it seemed like there was a lot of people starting to hype up the Packers a little bit. After watching that game Saturday night, lots of these people in the media seem to say to, say to themselves, wow, uh, maybe the Packers actually are going to be good. Maybe Jordan Love is actually not going to be too bad in 2023 for the Packers because I think that we saw the potential and lots of the upside that Jordan Love has in that game on Saturday night, which I discussed in you know the video after the game. Um, but that beautiful deep pass to Romeo Dobbs, the beautiful touchdown pass to Jaden Reed, the nice scramble from Jordan Love, that drive right there changed lots of people's minds about Jordan Love because it's really hard to gauge a team when you haven't seen the quarterback play. It's hard to know what to think about a team and their potential when you don't know what the guy, you know, how good a guy like Jordan Love is going to be. And I, for one, have sort of been in the, sh- in the ship that if the Packers, you know, were willing to move on from Aaron Rodgers, They, you know, Love sat behind Rodgers for three seasons, and he seemed to take steps forward each year in the preseason and in the way he understands the offense, the way that he operates, according to Aaron Rodgers about a season ago, Matt LaFleur as well. And so I was just an optimistic person hoping that he would be good. But still, I was like, okay, well, we'll see. And that's sort of, I'm still somewhat in that, that, uh, that mindset. But I think that now after two preseason games, we at least have a little bit more information on Jordan Love and the kind of quarterback he can become. And I think we've seen lots of that potential and lots of these people in the media also are seeing the potential. So it's sort of a nice shift because for a lot of the off season, I think that the uh, assumption by many, um, you know, media members was, oh, it's probably the, the Vikings or Lions are probably going to win the NFC North. And now it's looking like there's been a slight shift, which makes sense. People got new information. So they're saying to themselves, okay, Maybe the Packers aren't going to... Maybe this isn't like a rebuild year where the Packers are just going to be below average. Maybe Jordan Love is going to come in and play like he did in that third drive on Saturday night in Lambeau Field against the New England Patriots. Because if Jordan Love plays like he did uh, on Saturday night in that third drive, the Packers, uh, I think, have a lot of potential and there's no reason they can't be a playoff team going into 2023 and so it's not to say that we know Jordan Love is going to be a top 10 quarterback even though I think he showed that he has abilities that guys like that show and and I think the real question still for Jordan Love is once the season comes around is he going to be consistent is he going to find that consistency or is he going to you know have ups and downs and I would still assume with a young quarterback who started in one game who has tons of young weapons young tight ends you would assume there would be some growing pains it's not going to be perfect for Jordan Love and Um, I think that, you know, most of us sort of understand that idea. And so if love comes out week one and has a, has a down day, that's not to say that love isn't going to be good. And the Packers can't still have a good 2023 season. And so I think it's sometimes it's like, I try to not to uh, overreact too much to one thing because, um, like if Jordan love would have exited after the, the two first two drives on Saturday night, I don't think any of this talk would have been happening because the first two drives were sort of sloppy, not, not necessarily fully on love. Um, there's just some penalties. There was that, you know, missed snap that, that went by Love's head. Um, and luckily, Matt LaFleur decided to put the Packers out there for one more drive because if he hadn't, Love wouldn't have had that amazing drive. And so now we at least see the potential of Love. We see the throws he can make, the deep throws he can make, the touchdown passes he can throw and his ability to, you know, sit back in the pocket, read the uh, defense. And there's still some things to clean up, no doubt. And um, it's going to be... Um, uh, an interesting year to say the least, but I think this preseason has gone probably um, as good as we could have hoped as Packers fans because Love is showing that he has something and he's still barely played. And so I think that's really, for me, that's all I wanted to see. Can we see some positive things from Jordan Love this preseason and, you know, sort of building blocks to, to build on as the season progresses, as he builds the chemistry with these guys. So, It's nice to see the Packers getting a little bit of hype, and um, let's hope it continues because if if it continues, it means that this Packers team is playing well. We, of course, have one more preseason game until the season starts against the Bears, and that's going to be a game to watch. Justin Fields, Jordan Love, hopefully the Packers can start off 1-0 and and, uh, sort of show the league what they have to offer. But that's all I wanted to share in this video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to stay up to date with all things Packers, news analysis, rumors, all that stuff, I cover it on this channel throughout the week, so feel free to subscribe down below.